So of those 1.9 million registered voters that uh, INEC has and the several voting points, what do we know from history about the percentage of those who may not be interested in voting? So here's the, um, the pro closest proxy we can use is um, the presidential election because we know um, after the presiden presidential election, the next big election that the people are interested in is the governorship election. And we also understand that during the last presidential election, 60% of those that were registered did not turn out to vote. Here's what it means. It means it's the minority of those that registered that will determine who will govern the majority. And I've talked about this several The reason why we need the majority to decide on who governs them is in the long term, it assists to reduce domestic agitations and violence. Because then the popular choice had been elected as governor if the majority if the majority votes. The challenge we have today is history not only tells us that the people in Edo often do not come out to vote on election day based on the last presidential election that tells us that they had the lowest voter turnout in the South-South region among the six states within that region. The challenge is today's election again is happening on a weekday. So it's a double hit. The first is a state, of that, a state that doesn't often have high voter turnout is now having its governorship election on a weekday. But it's a public holiday, so it's like a weekend. Yes, but it is still a weekday, despite the public holiday. It is still happening on a weekday. And we often understand how people perceive weekdays. Right. Let's get across to Markwe and uh, get her response. Markwe, a question? Well, it would have been interesting if you had, for instance, say a history uh, of uh, voting patterns in Edo State. Uh, do, do you have any insights as to you know, what has been the voting pattern and the turnout in the last couple of years? Okay, so here's it. We have five local governments that history tells us that have high voter turnout in Edo State. Um, now, clearly, despite that um, we know that all men and women living across all 18 local governments in Edo are equal. We also know that not all local governments are equal. So here are the five local governments that have high voter turnout. Okay, what we'll do is we'll take that quick break now. Uh, when we come back, you give us those five, and perhaps more demographics in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back. So now we can give us uh, those figures that you were going to talk about. So there are key five local governments that have high voter turnout. Um, from Edo North, we have Etsako West and we have Akoko Edo. Now those are the two local governments from Edo North that are flashpoints. Local governments that have high voter population and high voter turnout. In Edo South, where all the action is really going to be from, where we have the two leading candidates from Edo South, seven local governments, three Local governments are flashpoints. We have um, Oredo, we have Oka, and we also have Ego. Three key local governments from Edo South. The reason why I particularly like those two last local governments, that's um, Oka and Ego, is because the Bureau of Statistics also says Oka and Ego have a higher population of women than men. So clearly, we understand that the women will also be playing a big role in who becomes the next governor of, of their states. And we clearly understand that the Edo people are also really excited, despite their low voter turnout, despite that, and we understand that three things keep them at home, um, fear of um, violence, fear that their votes don't count. And we, I talked about the third thing, women sitting at home to watch Telemundo. But we also understand that the culture of Edo is very rich, the Benins, the ASAN, the FMI, they are also going to be on standby to decide who represents them in terms of their culture. So they are looking for a governor who won't just wield executive powers. They are also looking for a governor who can assist to wield some level of cultural influence. 
So at the end of the day, it will come down to those figures. And so uh, part of what has been highlighted so far, uh, even though it may be early days yet, is, is going on peacefully uh, in the city. So hopefully uh, we'll get reports from other parts of the town. But is there any way that you maybe any item of doubt that, um, who knows, this result or these elections will not be concluded today? We hope it will be concluded because the high cost of an inconclusive election, not just financial cost, but cost in terms of the confidence that the people will have, not just on INEC, on the federal government of the country. Those are huge costs that we cannot afford to incur at this moment. We cannot afford to incur those costs of an inconclusive election. But if we, uh, pardon me, just one more before wrap up, if we were to vote electronically, will we save any money? Perhaps nothing too significant. What we'll probably have, we'll, we'll have a more transparent process because to vote electronically, we'll also have to incur some short-term costs. And, but what will happen is it will reduce concerns of violence and it will improve the transparency of the election. The challenge we also have really today is the last election in July 2012 that the current governor won. He won by over 300,000 votes. That is not likely to happen this time around, irrespective of who wins. So all eyes will be on uh, Edo State today because it's the D-Day where they will go ahead and uh, they already started though electing who governs in the next four years. Ojide uh, Ogunso, our data and information analyst, thank you for coming on this morning. And that's the way we draw the curtains today on the show. We thank you all for watching and for sending in your comments as well. We will see you tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Osa. I can't believe the Telemondo story. <laughs> <laughs> Left me mum. Many thanks for watching. I'm Slyman. Our lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't believe it either. I know that women will not be watching Telemundo. I believe they will be out there making their votes count. Thank you, Maupe Ogun. Is that all?